everybody. Gee, I'm feeling great today. I really want to state today that everything about today seems fine. When my body's feeling well, really feeling really swell, I can't conceal my zeal, I seem to shine. Your body is usually fit and strong, and by practicing healthy habits, you can help protect it from many injuries and diseases. But every once in a while, no matter how careful you are, you're bound to get a cut or a scrape or some sickness, and when you do, you may need medicine or first aid. Even though your body is remarkably strong, now and then there's something which will probably go wrong, like an ache or pain, a break or sprain, a scrape or scratch, the cold you catch, phew, cuts or lumps, the flu and mumps, or perhaps a nasty fall, for illnesses and accidents can happen to us all. And though I'm feeling great today, if I get hurt or sick today, I know that I don't need to be afraid. Cause if a sickness should begin, I can use some medicine. If I get hurt, then I will use first aid. So I know that I don't have to be afraid. Now, every once in a while, we all get a cut or a scrape, and then we need some first aid. First aid is the first care we give an injured person. It can be as simple as helping to calm somebody down or cleaning and bandaging a small cut. A first aid kit helps a lot with small cuts and scrapes, so it's a good idea to have one around the house. You can either buy one or make your own. Now, I've made my own. I've done it by taking a shoe box and putting a red cross on it so everyone knows just how special this box is. Inside, I have Band-Aids, gauze pads, some adhesive tape, a roll of gauze, and a scissors. Sometimes we get hurt when we're playing. If it's a simple cut or scrape, a first aid kit really comes in handy. Talk to your parents about how to use the items in the first aid kit. And be sure you know where it's kept, just in case you need it in a hurry. You might get hurt while you're outside playing. All of a sudden, down you go. Ow, that hurts. You need some first aid for that scrape. It's a lucky thing your friend has a first aid kit. He takes out a special cloth to clean the wound. Easy does it. Next, a gauze pad for protection. Place it gently over the scrape. And hold it in place with some adhesive tape. You roll down your pants leg, and you're ready to get back into action. That scrape was easily taken care of. But sometime you or your friend might have a serious injury, like getting cut by a piece of broken glass. If there's a lot of bleeding, it must be stopped at once. Here's how it's done. Cover the wound with a piece of cloth. That could be a handkerchief, a scarf, a sock, or even your shirt if that's all you have available, and press down hard to stop the bleeding. Then call an adult. This could save your life. When you have an injury, you use first aid. But when you get sick, sometimes you need the help of medicine. I keep my medicine in the medicine chest, above the sink, in my bathroom. Let's see what's inside. Here's some aspirin, which you might take to help relieve a pain or ache. Bottles with some capsules, which help stop an allergy, sneeze, and itch. And if you have a hacking cough, this syrup will help turn it off. Many things there just in case in this lovely safe and handy place. The medicine chest, the medicine chest, with things to help us feel and look our best. We call it the medicine chest because we keep medicines in it, usually on the top shelf so small children won't be able to reach them and accidentally harm themselves. Along with medicines, there are several other items. Let's take a look. Sometimes there's a first aid kit, and on the shelf right next to it is a clipper for the nails, a brush and comb, a razor and some shaving foam. 
The medicine chest, the medicine chest, with things to help us look and feel our best. Here's peroxide and some alcohol, a cotton swab and a cotton ball. Talcum powder with a bright blue cap and some lip balm when your lips get chapped. The medicine chest, the medicine chest, with things to help us look and feel our best. The medicine chest. This is Professor UB Smart speaking to you. Excuse me, from my research center where I have been studying medicines. I. I have found that medicines help our bodies in three ways. They help relieve pain, they help our bodies heal themselves, <clears throat> and they can help prevent sickness. I have also found that medicines come in several different forms. We have pills and capsules and syrups <clears throat> which you swallow. We have lotions and salves which you rub or pat onto your skin. And we have shots, which you inject into the body. But you know what I can't figure out? With all of this stuff, why is there no medicine for the hiccups? The professor sure does know a lot about medicine. Too bad he has the hiccups. Though I'm sure they'll go away in a little while. If he had been seriously ill, he would have gone to see the doctor and the doctor might have given him some prescription medicine. Sometimes when you go to the doctor, you need to take some medicine. The medicine that you need to take is special medicine, medicine that only the doctor can give you. But the doctor doesn't have it in his office. What he has to do is he has to write a message to the pharmacist. This message uh, we call a prescription. And as a pharmacist, I take this prescription and get the medication off the shelf and give you the amount that the physician has prescribed. The physician may ask me to give you uh, 20 tablets for the fever that you have. I take the medication, I pour some out on this counter, I count them, uh, trying to be uh, very exact to make sure that I give you the right medication and that I give you the correct amount. I take that medication, I put it in a prescription bottle, and I close it. A container that's difficult for you to open. It's intended to be that way. This is a a container which uh, is designed to keep small children uh, from being able to get into this bottle and to get medication that might be dangerous for them. When we put the medication in that container, we take the label for that container. This is really the instruction, which is really the message that the physician has uh, given to us. We take that message which says how the medication is to be taken by you and we put that message on the container so that your parent or whoever is uh, giving you the medication can read this label and know exactly how you are to take this medication. You should only take medication as directed by a doctor and given to you by your parent or guardian. Medicines can help our bodies when we need it. They can relieve pain. They can help us get well by fighting germs. And they can keep us from getting certain sicknesses like measles and polio. But medicines are strong, so we have to be very careful when we use them. Why, the wrong medicine could even harm our bodies. Slim, listen. What? Here comes my favorite commercial. 
Hi, boys and girls. Are you feeling kind of tired and slow? Well, perk up. Get yourself a nice, cool can of Perco Cola out of the fridge or at your nearby store. It'll give you that perky feeling in no time at all. Hey, you'll be the perkiest kid in your gang. Gee, Slim, that cola sounds great. Aren't you going to get me some? Radio, you don't even drink cola. Besides, it's not always a good idea to do something just because a commercial tells you to. Cola contains an ingredient that is sometimes found in medicine. That ingredient is caffeine. The caffeine is also found in coffee and in chocolate. Caffeine can make us feel a little peppy for a while, but too much can make us feel nervous and jittery, and it makes your heart work harder than normal, and that's not good for your body. So I try to avoid cola. I drink fruit juice instead. I like juice, too. What? Electricity! <laughs> Troopers, here's General Health, commander of the International Health Brigade! Troopers, every once in a while, you may need medicine to relieve pain or to help your body get well. If this happens, I want you to follow my safe medicine plan. Number one, take medicine only when it's given to you by your parents or a doctor. Yes, sir, doctor or parents. Number two, troopers, never, never share your medicine with anyone else or ever take anyone else's medicine. This could be very harmful for your body. Yes, sir, never share medicine. Troopers, follow my safe medicine plan. Don't hurt your body with medicine not meant for you. Dismissed. Good advice from the general. Most of us don't like to take medicine, but sometimes it's important to help our bodies avoid sickness or help our bodies get well. Slim, do you always have to take medicine if you don't feel well? Well, no, Flora. Sometimes there's another way. If you don't feel well today, perhaps there is a natural way of helping your whole body to feel better. If you feel a tiny chill, it may not mean that you are ill. A pill won't help because you need a sweater. If your head is aching you and you want to stop it soon, an aspirin may not be what's required. Something you might try instead is laying down upon your bed and resting there till you're no longer tired. It's plain to see. It's clear to me. Sometimes we can feel better naturally. If by chance your stomach hurts, it may be that too much dessert was gobbled up too quickly at your last meal. Another cause of stomach pain is simply that you're hungry and a little snack might change the way you feel. It's clear to me and plain to see we can help our bodies naturally. It's important to tell your parents or other adults if you have an ache or a pain, a chill or a fever that might be the warning of a serious illness. But isn't it great to know that your body can take care of many small problems if you practice healthy habits?